Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and guys today I want to show you how to use the loader class in Flash and ActionScript 3. Now the loader class is used to load external assets guys. Uh, let me open up a folder and uh, show you exactly what I mean. Uh, this folder uh, that I've called loader class is lying on the desktop guys. Let me open it up for you. And you can actually see that inside we have three external assets. When I say external assets, basically assets or pictures or Swifts that are lying outside the Flash interface. This is the Flash file, guys. This is the Swift file. But these three assets, or rather these two pictures and the Swift, which I'm calling the assets, are lying outside the Flash interface. Obviously, it's not inside the uh, Flash library. That's why they are uh, external assets. This is a PNG image, guys. Pattern 1.png. This is pattern 2.png size 550 by 350 and this is a swift file guys now guys have a look out here that the way they've been named pattern 1 pattern 2 and pattern 3 is extremely important and we'll soon see why so let's dive inside the flash but before that guys i would want to show you uh, how the swift actually operates if i double click on the swift and uh, let me show it to you if I click on these uh, buttons, pattern 1, pattern 2 and pattern 3, you can see that uh, on the click, the external assets are called upon and, uh, you know, they show through on the stage. So guys, basically we're calling external assets and displaying them on the stage. And how do we actually do that? That's, that's the work for the, you know, that's, that's for the loader class to do, the, do its work. So uh, let's dive inside the... Uh, the the flash interface i'm using flash cs55 and let's see how this was actually done guys uh, there are three buttons out here and you can see that the labels are pattern one pattern two and pattern three they're actually movie clips guys and they've been named if you have a look out here pattern one if i click on the second picture it has uh, the instance name pattern two the third one has an instance name pattern three now if you remember guys the uh, external assets were also named pattern one pattern two and pattern three png png swift respectively right and uh, you, you can have a look out here that the instance names match uh, the external assets names right now that was extremely important guys now you may have another question how did I get these uh, buttons out it's very easy guys all you need to do is you can just go to components and you can pull out a button like this once you have a button out here you can just change the label to whatever you want I've, I've kept the labels as pattern 1 pattern 2 pattern 3 uh, you could have used b uh, BTN1, BTN2, BTN3 by typing uh, the name out here. Anyways, guys, so that's that. Uh, that's that's how I got the uh, you know these buttons out. Now, all that I have apart from these buttons on the stage uh, is I don't need this layer one. I just have one uh, single uh, layer, the actions layer. Let me hit Control Enter to test the movie once again. Uh, there you go right I just need one single frame on the actions layer now I'm sure you know how to uh, rename the layers you just need to double click and just just put any name that you want I, I could have kept it as3 as well that would have been fine let me save things up anyways so guys all that we have on the stage which has let me give it a, a darker color let's say a pound sign triple three triple three anyways all that I have except these three buttons on the uh, the stage is this one single line uh, on the AS3 layer let's see whether we have anything in the library yes we just have the buttons in fact we have these two symbols uh, I don't need them they are uh, they are actually not a part of this project so just the buttons guys and uh, one single line of uh, action script 3 so let me open up the actions panel for you guys and uh, check exactly what uh, do we have as the script all right there are a few classes that i imported <coughs> excuse me guys uh, here i have declared a couple of variables the first variable that i've declared has been called my loader which is of the type loader now the loader uh, class is used to load external assets as we just talked about so basically i'm just creating a new instance of uh, the loader class then guys what i've done is i've created yet another variable called my request of the type url request so basically it'll be summoning an external asset you can do it or you can point to the external asset using the url request class 
all right and through the URL request class I'm summoning or pointing to pattern1.png which was the first uh, PNG image lying outside in the external folder right and uh, gu yes guys this one thing very important that I needed to tell you the way the script has been designed uh, design ensures that you should keep your swift your fla and the three assets in the same folder that's the way the script has been designed so don't keep them in separate folders uh, you know the script may not work correctly right so in line number six you using the load method guys i'm l loading my request basically i'm loading pattern1.png inside my loader and my loader uh, is, is 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 the variable so it's it's gonna get the pattern1.png and then i'm adding it to uh, the stage guys i'm adding it to the stage through the add child method guys right guys have a look out here I've added event listeners to pattern 1, pattern 2 and pattern 3 respectively uh, of the type mouse click so whenever somebody clicks on pattern 1 or pattern 2 uh, a function called PNG handler is run but if somebody clicks on pattern 3 a function called swift handler is run guys if you remember pattern 3 is actually an external swift file pattern 1 and pattern 2 are PNG files that's the reason I made sure that I bifurcate uh, the way the functions run and the behavior happens right uh, let's see respectively one by one what the functions PNG handler and the Swift handler actually do now guys the first thing that happens uh, is that the loader gets removed completely basically since you're preparing for the other uh, picture or the other swift to come in you should remove the remove the previous ones I'm so if you remember in line number seven I'd use the add child method uh, this is undoing that guys this is removing the the loader completely so here you're adding the loader my loader which is this variable guys I'm undoing it and I'm removing it from the stage using the remove child method so basically just the opposite of line number seven is line number 15 now uh, if you remember uh, in line number five I, I had ensured that the URL request or uh, you know is pointing to pattern1.png to line number 16 I'm making sure that it's pointing to something else and how do I do that guys again I'm using the URL request method to point to a specific file but this time I'm using the event.target.name method now the event guys uh, is a mouse click so when somebody clicks on either pattern one button pattern two button or pattern three button which are strictly movie clips guys these these are the buttons that I'm talking about these pattern one pattern two pattern three and they've been named pattern one pattern two pattern three as well the instance names are pattern one pattern two and pattern three I'm saying the event dot target dot name uh, the target of the event is uh, pattern 1, pattern 2, uh, uh, pattern 3 and the instance names are pattern 1, pattern 2 and pattern 3 that is why very intelligently I kept the names for the buttons or the movie clips as pattern 1, pattern 2 and pattern 3 so basically if somebody clicks on the pattern 1 uh, movie clip the event.target.name is pattern 1 and then you add a PNG a dot PNG there's a period out here guys or dot PNG to it so basically you're requesting uh, you know this could be replaced with pattern1.png this is equivalent of uh, pattern1.png if somebody clicks on the second button all right uh, then it is equivalent of calling uh, pattern2.png event is the uh, the you know the the click and uh, the the target is basically the the movie clip and the name of the movie clip is pattern1 pattern2 or pattern3 so uh, this is something that you need to understand uh, very very well guys how the event.target.name works so event.target.name is sometimes pattern 1 dot uh, you know pattern 1 sometimes pattern 2 and sometimes it's it's, it's pattern 3 and uh, you know a, a, a suffix uh, dot png is added uh, if it is pattern 1 dot uh, pattern 1 or pattern 2 but a swift a dot swift is added if it is uh, pattern 3 and how does it happen see pattern 3 dot add event listener actually runs a swift handler not a png handler when you run the png handler this is the suffix and if you run the swift handler this is the suffix so uh, you you see 
uh, the decision happens out here whether uh, you know a, a swift handler needs to be run or a pattern handler you know your uh, or a png handler needs to be run so let's let's have a look so everything else remains just the same you you remove the the loader first and then you change the url request you point to a different file altogether this time you're actually pointing to a swift file and uh, then you load use the load method to load the load the request right guys and then you show it up uh, to the add child method so guys that's that's all we have uh, less than 30 lines of uh, action script 3 guys working to perfection uh, can load either a, a png image or uh, a swift guys you could have used a jpg image as well if you actually use the jpg image just replace the png with jpg that's 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 important right so uh, this script is uh, capable of handling pictures as well as swift so before i wind the tutorial guys let me just show you the published preview once again control and on the keyboard to show it to you so that's pattern one by default that's pattern two and that's pattern three right so guys uh, i hope uh, you like this tutorial uh, enjoyed it too and guys this is available for download on my website the link will be there in the description Alright, so I'll see you very soon with yet another uh, Flash uh, and Action Script 3 tutorial or it could be HTML, CSS, Dreamweaver tutorial. You have a good day uh, guys. Bye bye. Peace.